hello i am back with another video it is nice and sunny outside and i wanted to share with you uh another book that i am reading or i finished reading i finished reading just the end of last week it's called the wealth cure by Hill harper he's an actor csi fans you would know exactly who he is so i wanted to share about this book because it really uh is very um, complimentary to the Bible Success Academy that I've been posting about the last few couple of weeks and then the trash man to the cash man so as you can see the theme about uh, healthy relationship skills for me for the month of August is going to be focused around wealth finances creation and really focusing on that um, I wrote something down I do that I'm a book nerd I am not ashamed. So when I read, sometimes I take notes. So this is what I took. My note just fell, so let's travel to get my note. And there will be no editing on this video. Okay, so on page 176 in The Wealth Cure, Hill Harper says, just because we are able to make money doesn't always mean we learn how to keep it. And I just want that to resonate with you because it did with me just because we are able to make money doesn't mean we are able to keep it uh, Hill Harper he is an actor and he's been in the um, the industry for years and in this book is so great because he shares different stories but he uh, shares it from a perspective of people who have money and who have made a lot of money um, sometimes when we're working um, nine to five or eight to five or whatever we work uh we don't think that we are we are in a scenario where we can talk about money um that's another thing he brings up in the book like talking about money is taboo so i know i'm talking on a taboo topic but i'm challenging myself to go into the taboo because there are certain taboo co conversations that it's not getting any better like relationships how to have healthy relationships and money those are two major conversations that we don't always have but they're just not getting better on their own so in the the wealth cure hill harper is talking really really um complimentary along the lines of wealth in the way that um god created wealth i'm not gonna share the entire book what I will share is that um, just like Bible Success Academy with uh, with Myron Golden, Dr. Myron Golden, he has um, references to scriptures and he has historical context of Hill Harper. I mean, how things are um, from a wealth perspective, how we just really don't know some things. And if we don't know, um, learning and admitting to what we need to learn and seeing where we are currently. So that may sound a lot vague or a little vague to you. So I am gonna share from the Bible Success Academy notes that I have. And Dr. Golden talks about this um, topic of be, do, have. So in order to have we need to be able to do better. But in order to be able to do better, we need to be able to be the version of ourselves that we were created to be. So in order to, to do, we need to be. In order to have, we need to do. So the title should be, or the formula I would say, is to be all that you were created to be, change what needs to be created, what needs to be changed, create what needs to be created, adjust what needs to be created in order so that you can do what needs to be done and in order for you to do what you need to be done, what needs to be done, then you will be able to have what you are um, intended to have. And I say that in a personal scenario because I realize that relationships and the way that I connect with people, that's in order um, for me to have a healthy relationship uh, one, but I have to have it with myself. So many people are um, within connected spaces with people. I can say myself too, but I realize that I can feel completely um, alone in a room full of people. Hill Harper talked about that too uh, when he was at a party. Um, 
But in order for me to be my best, I need to have a relationship that's at peace with myself. And as I'm doing that, I can connect with other people and I can disconnect with people that honestly don't serve um, our relationship's purpose. And it's no judgment on the person. It's just to be able to understand that, you know what? I don't think I'm supposed to be in your life and you in mine. It doesn't have to be ma uh, mean or anything degrading. It is simply aware. And as I'm being who I am to be, then I can do what I need to do. Meaning um, I can record this video because this is what I need to do. Whether I have one person or whether I have 100,000 people watch this video, in order for me to do this, I had to be okay with showing up. <laughs> and then I can have what I, I am intended to have. Now, what I have now is um, I have a history of recording things and I can see where I need to change. I can see where I need to adjust um, and I can see where I need to grow. And I can have that only by starting with being so that I can do and then I can have. So this has been another video where I have recommended a book, Hill Harper, it's called The Wealth Cure. I still will put the link, if you look at past videos, from The Trash Man to The Cash Man by Myron Golden, Dr. Myron Golden. And then I've been going through his Bible Success Academy. You can try it free for 14 days. And if you're interested, you can actually uh, become a subscriber to his Bible Success Academy and it's only $27.99. I say that because, um, there are things that we can invest in ourselves in order to be. I'm investing in myself in order, in order for me to be able to do and to be able to have. So I'm preparing the way, being my best and learning how to change from things that do not serve me. So this video is going on eight minutes. Yes, I did say the time. I want to do something different. I'm gonna ask you if you have any comments, please comment if you like to have a specific book on finances uh, mentioned please say that i am going to bring back another video of hill harper because i want to get more into that and then share it with someone if there's anyone that you think would be um would be interested in hearing how to have the wealth cure how to go from the trash person to the cash person and or um creating a space and cultivating an environment where healthy relationship skills can be learned, practiced, uh, developed, and ultimately thrive. And then we can go ahead together. Until next time.